are you looking to connect online using online video tools such as Zoom and would like a few easy tips on making your videos look better? If so, then let's get started. Hi, I'm Grant from Studio GB Photography, a visual content creator and photographer based in South East London and Kent. So it's fair to say that a lot of people are turning to online forms of communication at the moment. So things like Zoom are becoming more and more popular from friends and family, to businesses and networking meetings. And as such, a few of my clients have asked me for a few tips on how to improve the way that they look on their Zoom calls. As a visual content creator, I of course have lots of fancy gear that I can use to create professional looking visuals. However, I'm also aware not everyone is going to have access to that kind of equipment. And with that in mind, I'm going to do this slightly differently and I'll be switching to my phone and using natural light only in just a bit. The idea being that anyone can do this and keeping this nice and simple as possible. I'll be covering some basic lighting, positioning, maybe a little bit about backgrounds and also a bit about sound. But before I do that, I want to show you this photo from a one-to-one -one Zoom call with one of my clients, Jasmine from J Osteopathy. I asked her to just set up as she normally would for going online and using Zoom. And whilst there's not necessarily, not necessarily anything wrong with the image, and I can recognize who it is, there's still a lot we can do to improve without any fancy gear at all. So firstly, the eyes have no sparkle, and they look dull and flat, and there's no real life to them. Also, the contrast between the bright side of her face and the dark side of her face is very strong, giving a harsh feel. It's also hiding her face in shadow, making it quite unflattering. The camera appears to be lower than her eye level, but she's leaning forward, almost hunched down towards the camera, which I'm sure she wouldn't do in a face-to-face -face meeting. And finally, while the background is clear-ish, the picture behind is coming out the back of her head, which can be a little distracting to somebody looking at this. I then took Jasmine through some simple steps during the call, and this is what we came up with. We've now got life and sparkle back in her eyes, and we've got a much more clear and even light across her face, and this is so much more flattering than before. The camera has been raised slightly so that it's closer to her eye level, and she's now sitting up, looking approachable, alert, and interested as she really is. We've also moved her slightly off center and made use of her business banner to cover up some of the distractions in the background as well. And this also reinforces her brand. And finally, let's look at them together. I hope you'll agree that the second shot is so much better. And by the way, I highly recommend Jasmine's osteopathy skills. She wonders on my wife's neck and shoulders, and she even does animal osteopathy too. I'll be adding some links in the comments so you can learn more about what she does, and you may even see some of my photography work too on her website. That was just to show you what I was able to do for Jasmine in a one-to-one. -one. Now let's see how I can help you as I now switch over to my phone for the next part of this video. So here I am on my phone. I'm in the horizontal mode, and as you can see, I look terrible. <laughs> so the first thing you're obviously going to notice that I'm backlit. So the light's coming from behind me and I'm almost a silhouette. So very difficult to see. So I'll make a little bit of a movement and as you can see, some of the light's now spilling around and you can actually see my face, but it still looks pretty rubbish. I'm looking down, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm heavier in the, in the bottom half of my chin. It looks like I've got uh, more chins than I already have. And also I've got panda eyes, I've got dark eyes, um, it, it's all blurry and you know it's just not very nice at all so if you remember the first tip that I sort of suggested is we want to be well lit from the front so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna turn myself around and you can see how much better this looks so there we go so now I'm actually facing the light and already we've had a massive improvement so you know there's cleaner light across my face it's nice and even a little bit of sparkle starting to appear in my eyes but I'm still heavy in the chin because I'm still looking down um, also I have a flying saucer coming out of the top of my head almost like a hat <laughs> obviously it's just my lampshade but again I see this a lot on on zoom calls so from the silhouette to looking down you know it's very common to see so the next thing I'm going to do then is my next tip so tip number two is to ensure that the camera is at eye level or just above so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to raise this up so that the camera is now just above my eye level now look at the difference um, it's immediately it's hiding those extra chins that I have um, I have much better light in my eyes you can see a little bit of a sparkle a little bit of a shine and I've got this nice clean fresh light across my face so um, already from just what I normally see on zoom calls so this is a massive improvement okay the next thing is what's going on behind me so now obviously from behind you can see 
you know, I've got the coat hanging from the door and there's like a picture of my daughter up in the corner there. So let's see if we can reduce that down. So all I'm going to do is just turn very, very slightly. So now I'm hiding the door. So that's a, a, another distraction down. And now we've got, we've just got a couple of pictures and maybe a little bit of bits and pieces going on in the background. Now with that in mind, um, it's just pictures on the wall. I can take those down. They take two seconds. So just take the pictures down and I can then create a much cleaner, clearer backdrop. That's all you have to do. It's just walk around with the camera in a selfie mode and have a look and see what you've got. Once you've found that position, sit down. That's where you're going to do your Zoom call for. And it reduces all of that sort of messing around and you've got as long as you've got good light. I would always have good light over distractions in the background any day. The main point being, most people are more worried about what's going on in their own backgrounds than they are worried about yours. There is one, however, one little tip I can do to reduce your fears about what's going on in the background, and it's this. That's right, that's all I've done. I've gone from a horizontal position to a vertical position, so we're in that portrait mode. And then immediately what's done is that it's narrowed down what's beside me. So all I've got to worry about is this one picture that's coming out the side of my head, which is going to take two seconds to take down. And I've got a nice clear backdrop. I've got nice clean light in my eyes, a much better portrait than it was when we started. From that original shot of me being in silhouette and all faded, we've now got some nice light on my face. We've uh, raised the camera so that it's at eye level and we've moved a couple of little pictures around and then we just moved about just to hide any distractions. That's it. We've now moved myself, I've now moved myself slightly off of center. So I have a nice bit of space here so we can put a backdrop off or in future videos, I'll teach you how, actually how to make a virtual background as well. Finally, before I go back to the normal camera, it's worth considering sound as well. Now at the moment, I'm just using the microphone that's built into the phone, but you can, let me just get this up here, Use the earphones that come with a phone. Now, often I've actually seen people look at this and go, they actually have no idea what it is, but it is in fact a microphone. So, you know, put your earpiece in, talk into the mic. It may sound better than the actual phone microphone, or if you're using a laptop or something like that. It doesn't really matter, but test it out and see what sounds better. And, and if you're, you're more than happy to contact me, have a quick one-to-one -one and I'll test it out with you so I can tell you how you sound with or without a microphone. I think I've covered it, so back to the other camera and uh, we'll finish up there. So just to summarize what I've actually covered. Light from the front and where possible, use natural light. Um, I will cover artificial light, but I'm gonna do that in another video soon. Raise the camera so the angle is just above the eye line. It lifts your head, opens your eyes to the light, but can also hide those chins if you know what I mean. And if you're worried about background, you can always use your phone in portrait mode to hide what's more behind you. But as I already said, as long as you find a tidy spot, most people are more concerned about their own backgrounds than they are of yours. And finally, use earphones and a mic to help reduce echo and distracting background noises. If you found this useful, please let me know in the comments and share this video with others so that they can also find it helpful. And of course, feel free to drop any questions in the comments too. If you would like more detailed one-to-one -to, -one to help you, then please feel free to book a call with me where I can take you through the whole process as I did with Jasmine. I'll pop a link in the comments for you. Finally, just to let you know, I will be making more videos around this subject. So if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, click that notifications bell, so you'll know when I release the next one. Until then, thanks for watching.